Hello, you Sunday Scaries followers. You're in for a treat. The first time ever, I'm going to include a little uh, recording from Caitlin Brown. She's here with me tonight. You know, so I'm going to, I'm just going to introduce you know Kate. Let her introduce herself. Talk a little bit about her. You know, val, you know her going down the against the grain path and the struggles with it and where she stands now with what she's doing. But let's hear a little bit from from the horse's mouth per se. Uh, welcome, welcome over, Kate. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Uh, okay, Kate. So just kind of give me a little, a little feeling for. I know you've just <laughs> passed the thirty-year mark, you know, and you're in. You know, what took you so long to finally take this, this yeah. to jump into the what I call the deep end of the pool? Yeah, it's it's interesting thinking about where I am in my life of career-wise. You know, I started working in retail. It was something that I fell into. I then moved into insurance because I no longer wanted to work the nights and the weekends and the holidays as I started to enter into married life, mm -hmm. really wanting to make my marriage more of a priority and you can't do that with retail. So then I start working in insurance and that was again something I just kind of fell into but nothing that I was passionate about by any means. And it's great, I work from home, I can work anywhere, the hours are extremely flexible but it's still just a job and nothing that I'm actually passionate about. So when I turned 30, I decided that it was time, <laughs> feeling like I was running out of time. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, <clears throat> that I needed to figure out what I wanted to do for the next 30 years of my working career. So I've always been interested in the health and wellness space and especially in the food side of things, but Finding this new program, I have become a nutritional therapy practitioner, it was the first thing that I noticed that really felt in line with something that I was interested in doing. Helping people, helping people through food and not necessarily doing it just so that someone could lose weight, but how can they help themselves better? Gotcha. Um, so I have now gone through that program. I have now officially launched my new business as of last month called Your Nourish Self. Um, and I'm Congratulations. Looking thank you. Thank you. <laughs> looking forward to kind of the next steps and taking that, that leap into the new step of my career. Yeah, this and, and everyone who follows me understands this is what I really like to see people do to really find that thing that gives them goosebumps, mm -hmm. find that thing that's they're passionate about, mm -hmm. knowing that it's not easy. Mm -hmm. And if you're and that's the key to sticking with this, it has to be something you really love to do because mm -hmm. it's just so easy to give up. Mm -hmm. uh, is it how 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 would you feel like in the you're just in the middle, just in the mm -hmm. starting point. It's mm -hmm. tough, right? Yeah, and I mean it was something that I avoided for so long too, right? It was something I was interested in even in high school, but I did not grow up with conventional sports or doing conventional sports. So I felt like an imposter in the health and wellness space. I didn't do conventional sports. Why would somebody look at me who wants to now provide nutritional advice, mm -hmm. but I'm not a quote unquote athlete. It's gotcha. something that I've always been interested in and being active and moving my body in some sort of way and eating well, but I never felt like I belonged in any way. So for 30 years or I guess 10 years, I mm -hmm. pushed it aside. Um, and then as I get a little bit older at 30, which is still so- <laughs> you're, still, <laughs> you're still so young. So young, but yeah. I feel so old, right? At, yeah. at this age in my life, um, I finally decided that it was time to do something for myself and lean into what I've always been interested in. What, what, do, you, what, what do you see as the biggest, are you running into any roadblocks? Since you've now at least, you've, you've taken the first step and that's yeah. the key. Yeah. You've got the certification, you've opened yeah. up your business. I've taken a look at you. And what's your website again, Kate? It's called yournourishself.com. Yep, and I took a look at it. Very well done. You offer some great programs. Mm -hmm. But, what, you know, are you, are you running into hurdles I feel like most people do in the beginning? Oh, for sure. For <clears throat> sure. I mean, one, imposter syndrome in mm -hmm. itself, right? Yeah, honestly, Kate, that was me <laughs> writing a book. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. did. I took a long time for me to do it because I'm yeah. like, who am I uh -huh. to write a book? But it's, yeah. it is crazy. You just have to get over it. Yep. Yep. Definitely. So that's a big hurdle. Um, also just, you know, trying to drum up the business. It's a different thing that I've ever had to do, right? Like I've always worked for somebody and now I have to be selling a product, whether it's now, you know, providing a service mm -hmm. for 
um, one-on-one, one-on-one coaching. coaching. That, that, yep. Yep. Um, trying to navigate that and how do I market myself? How do I get the word out to everybody? And then how do I get to sign somebody on to come and work with me as well too? Mm -hmm. So that's been some, some challenges that I've been facing currently. And the only thing I'll say to you, Kate, is just from experience is you you finally pick something you you love to do. Mm -hmm. You just can't throw in the towel. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing I've learned because it'll happen to you. It may take you, it may take you months to get your first client, Mm -hmm. you know, and then, and then that'll happen. You'll get a referral and it'll build up slowly. But what I see in this in this field is, you know, in this kind of endeavor as a lot of people throw in the towel right when they're gonna be successful. I am already feeling that way. It's, yep. a, it's only been a month and I have to keep reminding myself it's only been a month. Mm-hmm. Just because people are not biting instantly right away, it will come. And I know that will be the case, but it's really, really hard to keep yourself motivated because here I am constantly putting out content and trying to sell myself over and over each week through a newsletter, social media posts, friends and family, people who I'm just running into. And then it's, at this time, it feels like it's not getting you anywhere and it can be extremely discouraging. But knowing I have to just wait and yes. all will come out and you all just, will be fine. It is, it is it's weird. It's mentally hard. It is mentally hard, but it's almost like the universe has a way of rewarding people who don't give up. Yeah. And it's almost like you have to go through the struggle mm-hmm. to, to, to really find the success. Mm-hmm. And if it just fell in your lap, it almost, it, to me, a lot of times when that happens, it just doesn't last. Yeah. It's almost like a flash in a pan. Mm-hmm. So that would be my best advice to you and anyone else trying to reach on. It's, it, it's, and that's kind of why I want these followers. I want the followers and the listeners to understand there's nothing easy about going against the grain. Mm-hmm. There's nothing easy about not following society's path and keeping your ugly job. And I think I like the way you're doing it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you kept your job. Yeah. You know, this is kind of a side hustle. Mm-hmm. And you just have to make sure. You know, it's, it's like I try and tell people, instead of watching the latest Netflix thing, do another post. Mm-hmm. Just keep trying. Just You almost have to be obsessed with it in the beginning mm-hmm. and just overwork this this piece of it. And, and I guarantee you, if you do that, mm-hmm. and, and I think someone just realizes you're not going to give in, yep. it'll happen. Yep. I yep. really believe that. Yeah, I agree with that. I have found myself more recently just getting social media off my phone completely and just connecting and allowing myself to really be engrossed into the business side of things, just overall research too, reading books that interest me and knowing that it's gonna help my clients, that's going to be more productive of my time rather than watching the the latest Netflix movie or scrolling aimlessly for hours on end just to zone out kind of thing. Yeah, totally agree. I just think it's, I think it's great for all you listeners and and, uh, followers to realize that, you know, it really isn't easy. You know, there's, there's, you know, taking this path is difficult. Mm -hmm. That's why I keep trying to tell people taking the path just because it's something easy to do and you can make some money doesn't necessarily work because when you hit this thing, when you hit that initial obstacles Mm -hmm. that, Hey, this doesn't seem like it's working. Mm -hmm. Most people even doing this throwing a towel and it just, so I think that's the key here. You know, it's easy, right? at this time for me to be able to do that. I have a full-time job. I have something that's already there as a backup, but I know I can't rely on that if this is what my actual passion is and I want to make this successful. I I can't just rely on my backup. I have to really stay focused on what my end goal is and that is to do this full-time and not to be insurance full-time. So while I have a backup, don't lean into it too yes. much. Kind you of know, thing. Just, just let that be there and just realize what you're doing. You're actually, it's kind of that stool I talk about when you have to find that key above the door mm-hmm. that's locked to your authentic life is it's based on service. Yeah. And the things that work is because you are trying to help others mm-hmm. improve themselves in a big way. Kind of like I did when I bought the gym, kind of like Steph and I are doing right now with Sola, giving people a chance to be their own business owners, you know, salon owners. That's the key to it. And just keep that focus in your head. Mm -hmm. Just keep focused that I'm doing this to help others, to truly help others, Mm -hmm. you know, with their lives. He goes, and if you keep that just is good karma, I swear it just comes around and all of a sudden the doors open, Mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, I just want to say good luck. Thank you. You know, what else, anything else you want to tell any of the listeners or anything, Kate? No, I mean, well, I guess, no, there's just, there's a lot of 
free information that's out there. And sometimes, you know, you have to take a leap and rely on somebody else to, to help give you some guidance along the way, whether that's a mentor in business, whether that's taking on somebody as a nutrition coach mm -hmm. in some sort of way, having support around you when you need it and just leaning into that is, is really important to do. And and give that up. Give yeah, and I, and I will say, I've known Kate for a long time, <laughs> listeners, so if there's anyone of you that needs some actual help <laughs> with nutrition, she's your girl. She really is. So go on her website. I know she's offering a discount right now to kind of drum up her business. Mm -hmm. So now is like the prime time to do this. Mm -hmm. I really do. So please do that, everyone. Awesome. Well, and thanks, Kate. Thanks for taking yeah. the time to talk with of me course. a little bit. Thank you, Craig. Thank you.